Welcome back this morning to the Gospel of Luke, where chapter 10, verses 25 through 28. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he, Jesus, he said to him, You have answered rightly. Do this, and you will live. Interesting stuff here. Now, this isn't over. We're going to see some more. We're going to carry it over to tomorrow morning. But let's just start with this. So here comes a lawyer, and he's going to uh, probe with some questions for Jesus. He's probably thinking he's uh, pretty serious stuff. He's going to challenge the Galilean rabbi. And so he asks, what, uh, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus says, what's written in the law? Now, the law... There's several definitions in the, in the Bible of the law. We have God's Ten Commandment law. Normally, people think of the law, some people say it's all of God's revealed word. And that's valid, too. For most Jewish people, the law especially is the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, the books of Moses. And so Jesus is going to say, yeah, that's right. What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? And he gives this uh, very expanded version of what it's about, right? Love the Lord with all of your heart and all your soul and all your strength and so on. Love your neighbors yourself. And Jesus says, nailed it, nailed it. He doesn't say, look, oh, you're going to be saved by your works. You're, you're off into the legalism ditch. You're all wrong. Jesus doesn't say that. If we do those good things that God has for us, he doesn't say we're saved by our works. But if we are doing those things, if we are letting his spirit lead us, we will be in harmony with that. We will be loving him with all of our heart and soul and mind. We will be loving our neighbor in this way. And so there's nothing wrong with this. This is the golden rule. It's just doing what we would have others do to us. Jesus says, this is the plan. You're, you've nailed it. You're good. You're good to go. Now, he's not good to go because Jesus is going to use this to, to draw him out. By giving him this answer, he's going to now turn around and he's going to ask uh, the question that actually is the big revealing question that he asks. And so we're going to come to that. But I just want you to notice the first part of this. You might kind of reflexively say, oh, no, uh, that sounds like salvation by works. And let's be careful here because guess what? Loving God and loving our neighbor in the way that Jesus just described and the lawyer just described, nothing wrong with that at all. That is part of the pathway to eternal life. Let's pray. Father in heaven, some pieces in the Bible seem like they don't match things we've been hearing so many times. And there's sort of a nervousness about being saved by our works. And we do need to be careful there. And yet, perhaps Christians have been too afraid of seeing good works happen and perhaps that has cost the kingdom something. Help us, Lord, to be loving you with all of our heart and also our loving our neighbors. And Lord, you will take us from there. Help us as we carry on and learn more about this passage tomorrow morning. And now we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So friend, love God with all of your heart, soul, and mind. Not a problem. May the Lord's blessings be with you.